So Jada Kiss wants to ask J. Cole about his apology to Kendrick Lamar. Hey, it's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX, and check this out. In a recent guest spot on the Stephen A. Smith Show, Jada weighed in on the ongoing debate about J. Cole's swift apology to Kendrick Lamar. The move came less than one week after Cole dropped the diss track 7 Minute Drill aimed at the Compton rapper, fresh off of his latest release, Might Delete Later. When I woke up and seen Cole's response at uh, Dreamville, Dreamville, I was kind of destroyed. I was confused. I was... (laughs) I didn't know it was because he right. he's one of the nicest right now. He, he and he always stands on that. He always says what he'll do. Yeah. So this was a perfect everybody wanted it. Yeah. I don't know what, you know, happened with the spirits or what happened, but I think Drake's gonna come back and say something. Yeah, they Drake say Drake's gonna come back and say something. They say you know they I mean? say Kendrick's coming back. He's gonna I think say something. Kendrick's gonna come back also. We need this. It's not you no know I mean it ain't get to a point where the people want it. I really want to get next to him and sit down and really ask him genuinely what happened. What did what, what, what went wrong? <laughs> During his apology, Cole said, So I'm so proud of that project except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, no, I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? And I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart, you know what I mean? And, like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. That shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and in and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness, I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. Cause I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So what are your thoughts on Jadakiss wanting to have a conversation with J. Cole this after he apologized Kendrick. to Kendrick? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and keep it locked to Hip Hop DX.